Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can test our APIs with VS Code Editor. See, we also have some other options to test our APIs like you can use Swagger or Postman. But for that first we have to download an application, then we have to install and then we can only use. But better is we can use Thunder Client extension with the VS Code. So you just need to install this extension in your VS Code Editor and after that you can uh, test your APIs. Maybe you can ask like why we need to test our APIs. We'll discuss that first and after that we will install Thunder Client Extension in VS Code. Then we'll understand the basics of Thunder Client Extension like how it's work. Then we'll test our GET API as well as our POST API also. This is the Laravel 11 tutorial playlist and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job project and interviews you can access this playlist from description box of this part so first let's discuss why we need to test our apis see if you just create apis in laravel or in any other uh, programming language or framework and you don't test that so what actually happen whenever you will integrate these apis when with any uh, android application or ios application or maybe some uh, ui frameworks angular react or something right so that time uh, maybe that api will not work properly so again you have to work on your apis and it will take lots of time second thing if you are not experienced developer you are a fresher and you are trying to integrate it untested api with the ui then maybe you will also get confused like is this problem uh, belongs to the back end or to the front end so better is whenever you are creating the apis test them before integrating with with the ui or some maybe android or ios application all right so now let's go to the vs code and then click on the extension icon then you just need to search their thunder client and you will just get your first uh, first uh, extension there you can install it and whenever you will install it you will see the one more icon there for thunder client and if you are not seeing this icon maybe there are three or three dots you can click on them and then definitely you will find this thunder client icon all right so once you will click on this you will find that there is a option for new request and once you click on the new request you will get this interface so from there you can choose the api method like in last part we discussed like we have the get post put delete patch apis method there are some other methods also but they are not so useful so will we are not talking about these methods right and then there is the address bar similar to the browser so there you uh, you have to provide the uh, you can say that address of the api and there are some other tags also uh, tabs also like uh, headers authentication body we will learn all of these gradually but for the just very quick recap and you can say that very quickly introduction in header so there we'll decide like what kind of data we will send to the apis and what kind of data we will receive sometime uh, we add some uh, course or security related headers also there authentication uh, there we mostly don't use this tab actually but sometime we need to use whenever we are using some security tokens and all in body this is basically not um, uh, get to use in the get uh, api method but whenever we are using post put and delete then where there we can uh, mention the payload or the data whatever we want to send to the apis and test and prerun is basically used for the uh, testing purpose and all all right so now let's try to test this api which we created in the last part there so first if there is some other method is just choose chosen there then you have to select the get method only because this is the method uh, that we are using in the api and again if you want to confirm you can get go to the uh, api.php and here you can see that in last part we created this api so maybe uh, you can see there one more api post uh, which we haven't learned yet like how we can make post apis but don't worry i just created this for the testing purpose in next part i'll uh, let you know how we can create post apis how we can send data and everything but for a moment uh, don't think how this is created just focus on the testing so here you can see that uh, with the students api we are using the get method right so yeah and here we have to provide the url like this and then if we just send it you can see that whatever data we are getting on the browser same data we are getting there from the database like username anil siddhu 
then peter and then email id is web peter at the rate test and same thing you can see there right yeah okay so there are some other things also like status 200 status 200 means we fetch this data successfully this is a size of data whatever is stored in the or whatever we are getting in the uh, api and this is the time how much time uh, this api consuming to uh, send the request and get the data all right yeah so similarly if you want to test the post api you have to choose the post method there i have just one small uh, api for post as i just shown there so it's its url is we just we can just replace the student url to the add right and if i just add there you will see we have nothing to display there this is the blank data there but this api is working as you can see that 200 size and time if you will choose their get you will find that this is not working and status is 405 405 means this url is present but get method is not supporting there right and let's say if we are using the same the perfect method you are getting the 200 and if i just use the wrong url then you will get the 404 that means this url will is not present all right so this is working fine so what this actually api will do so whatever data will send in the request will get the same data here you can see that you'll get the same data so from there what i'll do in the uh, body tab i'll just use the braces and then I'll send name and I'll see through. And whenever I whenever I'll send, you can see that we are getting the same data as a response. So if I use there some more data, let's say channel, and then if I just put there code step by step then we are getting the same data. So this is how we can test the APIs about delete and uh, put API we'll learn in the upcoming part and we'll learn more about post API, how we can test and all in the next part also because in next part we will create the post API and then we'll test this also. All right, so that's all for this part and this is my Paytm donation number. If you still have any confusion, queries, you can ask me in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video, share your feedback in the comment section. Thanks guys.